Hello, everybody. This is I, your favorite Korean Namekian. And, uh, we're going to be playing The Stanley Parable. It's an interesting game, and I doesn't really need much explaining. So, begin the game. Actually, I, I do have to explain a bit. Uh, it's a game about choices, and your choices of, of in it. So, uh, when this finishes loading, um, yeah. It'll be great. Oh. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment of the orders he obeyed, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So yeah, this is a very heavily narrated game, so I probably won't be talking much, because uh, Mr. Narrator here, uh, yeah, and we have choices. I want to push buttons. Oh, shit. There we go. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Yeah. Stanley what could it mean? To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mhm. Mm yeah, let's go to the meeting room. How hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Beep. Hmm. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Nope, not really. But I do like pushing things. And then, uh... So this is a, a game about endings. And, uh... Yeah. I'll show you what I mean uh, when the time does come. Hmm. Yep. Interesting. Okay. When so. Came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door See, now this is where we're giving a, cho a choice. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure book, but in video game form, but much better. So, we could go here. Or we can ignore the... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Exactly. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mm-hmm. Let's go and buy the, the employee lounge, shall we? Oh, uh, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Mm hmm It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, Drinking it all in. Ah, beautiful. Look at this. It's nice. It's blue. 
as I look on Snapchat. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yep. It is very worth it. Put some coffee. No. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room Fuel. creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible <laughs> this is why everyone left. And this is why I love the uh, Santa Pearl. Okay, we'll but continue on. He'd had enough of the amazing room. <laughs> first open door on his left to get back to business. Um, sure. Hmm. Nah, nah. Nah, we, 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 we might explore in other videos, probably. Yet there was not a single person here either. Mm -hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Well, I hope so. Bloody hope so. Holy crap. I will solve a dispute of a co-worker. Let it ball up inside you. Take out passive aggressive on all the co-workers and blah, blah, blah. Using slides to show employees that everything is okay. Make sure the slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. See, you're all unique, everybody. Like, this is an amazing game. Oh, shit. No. Wait a minute. The broom closet. I love the broom closet. Nah. I like the broom closet. It's nice. There was nothing here. Mm -hmm. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Yep. There's no reason whatsoever to ever be here. Whatsoever. I like it though. And uh, if you all know what a F sweet F.A. Yeah. Doing that sweet F.A., everybody. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Because. Offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Well, to be fair, it's it, it's really nice and warm. It's, ni it's nice and warm. It's not cold at all. It's, uh, see, I got a mop bucket. There's no choice or anything yeah. Yeah. Absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's look, look, look. See that light? That light right there? Maybe it's you, this is somehow its own branch. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. When you go talk about this with uh -huh. your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the, the boom closet attending? The boom closet attending is my favorite." <laughs> See, my favorite is the broom closet ending. It really is. It's like the best thing ever. He just goes on a rant. Just like, was fat and ugly and yep, really here it is. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. <laughs> and this is why I like it. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and <laughs> I, I've, It's been a long time since I played this game. And this... Come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. What? No, we're not dead. Uh -huh. No, look, right there. Oh. Well, he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. 
so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. All right. We're not going to get stuff out of the hallway. Ever. It's great. I love this ending. Yes. Oh, yeah, you can save. Can we save? Hmm. Anyways, yeah. This is pretty cool, eh? The light real though, right? Like, like, look, l look at this. It's beautiful. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. Mm -hmm. I guarantee. You can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Nope. We're going back in the room closet. Mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. The fish of fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. Just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. And so we wait a little bit. We'll just look at the broom here. These, this broom closet actually has a broom. It's nice. Actually, wait. Can I uh, options? Uh, video. Ooh, advanced. Oh, what the hell? Medium high. Yeah. There we go. I hope that doesn't crash the game. Fuck! Only stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing yep, here. we're back in the broom closet, everybody. Uh, the game did crash. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, funny enough, if you keep going into the broom closet here, um, eventually the narrator here, like, because this is a game where you just restart the game over and over and over again. He boards up the broom closet so that we don't detour into the broom closet, uh, which is I absolutely love. So uh, let's continue. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Let's go to his office, shall we? Hello. Anyone here? Do 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 do. Nope. I'm here for a raise. Stepping into his Fuck. office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shop. Wait, hold on. Options. Video. Advanced. Shit. Did I actually crash the game? And it didn't save. Unraveled. Stanley oh. wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? That's right. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Okay. So, um, but of it's course, eight, Stan eight, eight. Possibly have known this. eight, 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 eight. Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full hmm. well the sheer statistical unlikelihood oh, well. that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was two, two eight, four, eight, four five, five, it would be another story entirely. But no, no, this is what he was going to do instead. instead. Yet incredibly, oh. by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened uh -oh. to put the correct code. What's going on? Luck. Amazing. Ooh. He stepped into the new I like this. Passageway. All right. So since we got the broom closet ending, pretty much, uh, uh, is there any other endings uh, you want to... Well, we'll, we'll, actually, we'll play this game a couple times, honestly. This is amazing. Hmm. Down we go. Descending deeper into the building, 
Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. All right, that's uh, okay. What is uh? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read hmm. Mind Control Facility. Oh. Okay. Well, what's the worst thing that could happen? Hmm. Should we go to the escape, everybody? Nah, we'll go into the mind control facility. Do 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 push. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Oh wait, can we get on the chair? To find out. Can we get on the chair? Yeah. Huh. These are all numbers. Can we kill ourselves? No. Nope. Alright. What could, uh... What's the worst thing that could happen, everybody? Beep. Now the monitors oh. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them... Okay. Monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay, this is weird. Oh god. Oh boy. Beep. Sounds good at buttons. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his mm -hmm. emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay. No. No. To it. Yeah. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's. Control. Never. Never. Exactly. It's not like I have two other minds in my head. Wasn't it? It's great. Was it even possible? No. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. Okay. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, Happy sad. sad. Or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored Boop. and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, mm -hmm. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power yeah. on another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Five. Let's do it, everybody. We'll bring this machine down if I don't have anything to say about it. Huzzah! Boop! Uh-oh. What have I done? chill of uncertainty was it over yes he had won he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away and yet even as the immense door slowly opened Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved mm -hmm. Where had his co-workers gone? Yeah, where? Why had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Of course. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to no, him. No, not really. It was not knowledge or even power that yeah. he had been seeking, but happiness. He found and happiness. His goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go. Mm. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Yeah. That was all he needed to know. It was perhaps. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, look at the little house. 
Stanley stepped through the open door. C'est lui. Oh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. And that was that ending, everybody. So, uh, that was uh, the Stanley Parable. Now, there's multiple endings to this wonderful game. And we just did technically two of them. So. There we go. So, we'll uh, save here. Yes. And I'll see you all in the next video. Ta-ta, and keep on training, everybody.